So let's take a look at the layout of On One Photo Raw 2020. And whenever we open up Photo Raw, it's going to start us in the Browse module, and it's also going to start us in our computer's picture folder. So we can see here that we're inside the Browse module of the application, and we're viewing the photos from our Pictures folder on our computer. And we know that by the breadcrumbs at the top of our screen here. If we want to navigate to other photos on our computer, let's head over to the left side of our screen. And we'll start with these icons right here. These are just quick ways to navigate to different folders on your computer. This first one, for example, navigates you to your computer's desktop. If you don't know where they go, just hover over it, and it will tell you. Then let's move over to our folders pane here. And we're probably going to be spending the majority of our time in our local drive section. Your local drives are going to house your computer's hard drive and any SD cards or external drives mounted onto it. And below our local drives, we have our cloud storage. So if you have a Dropbox account or a Google Drive account or a OneDrive account, you can set that up and you can view the photos that are on your cloud storage. So let's say we want to look for a group of photos on an external hard drive. We can head down to our local drives here and to navigate through these drives, I can click the arrow and I can go into any of these different subfolders within my drive here. Or I can just click on one of these folders and I can view the contents. So if I want to go into any of these subfolders, I can just double click and I can see all of the photos within it. So I can scroll down here and let's say I see a photo and I want to look at it in detail view mode. I can just double click that photo and now we're in detail view mode. You can also access your detail view mode by hitting E on your keyboard. If we want to go back into the grid view mode, where there's a grid of different photos from that folder, we can hit G on our keyboard. So G for grid view and E for detail view mode. On the right side of your screen, you can see different information about your shot, such as your camera, your lens, your shutter speed, and other things. If you're in detail view mode, this right side of your screen will give you a navigation tab, a levels tab where you can see your histogram, and also that information tab as well. Another great way to look at your photos is by the film strip view mode, which you can access by hitting F on your keyboard. If you don't like using keyboard shortcuts, you can also access any of the view modes by heading down to these icons in here. This first one is your grid view mode, second one is your detail view mode, third is film strip view mode, and this fourth one is your compare view mode. To compare some different photos, I'm just going to hit G on my keyboard to go back into grid view mode. So now let's scroll through here and let's grab a group of similar shots so that we can compare them. So now that I've found a group of similar shots, I'm just going to select all the photos and to access my compare view mode, I'm going to head back down to those icons and I'll select this one right here. And now I'm in my compare view mode and I'm going to head over and make sure I have lock, pan, and zoom selected. With this turned on, you can zoom in on your photos, pan around to check out composition, focus, and other features of your shots. And now I can head up and I can zoom in here and I can compare focus on this ladybug. And it looks like this is the sharpest one right here. So to remove a photo from your compare view mode, just hit the slash key on your keyboard. So now we've picked our favorite of that group and we could take it into the edit module and we could start modifying it. But let's head back into our grid view mode and let's take a look at some of the other features inside of Browse. And now I'm back in grid view mode and I've navigated to some different photos in Browse. So these are some drone shots that I took in Washington and drones are really awesome at keeping track of your location. Well, a new feature to On One Photo Raw 2020 is the map view. So if I wanna look at where I shot this photo, I can head down to those icons again and I can click this one here, my map view mode. So when I click that, this is showing me where I shot this photo, in Chinook, Washington. So I can zoom in, and right in this area, there's a nice dry little pond that has a bunch of awesome textures where I shot all of these different photos. If your photo didn't record the GPS coordinates, no worries. We'll learn later on in this course how to map your own custom locations and how to add in GPS coordinates. So let's head back into our grid view mode by hitting G on our keyboard. And now let's talk about modifying our workspace a little bit. And one of the fastest and easiest ways to modify your workspace is to show and hide panels. 
So if I want to hide this panel or this panel over here, I can go down to my bottom left or right corners and I can click this icon. And it will hide that panel so I have a little bit more room to work with. I can do it to the right side also. And if you want to hide both panels at the same time, you can just hit the tab key on your keyboard. We can also do the same thing if we want to hide or show panes. So for example, this folders pane right here, I can hide it really easily by hovering over it and you can see it says hide. So I can just click and it will hide that pane. And if a pane is closed up, I can show it by just clicking on it. We can also do this if we go up to our top bar here and we go into window and we can choose any of these to either hide or show. And we can also use these to hide or show our panels. So now we're back in our pictures folder inside of browse. And let's talk about this right side of our screen where we have the different modules of photo raw. Let's say we want to transfer between browse into edit. Well, let's make sure we have a photo selected and there's a few different ways that we can do it. You can either head over to the edit module icon, you can click on it, you can click and hold on it, and you could go directly to any of the tabs inside edit. Or what I like to do is I just hit D on my keyboard. So if I hit D on my keyboard, it will take me right into the develop tab inside the edit module. And if I want to go back into browse from edit, I can just hit G on my keyboard. To access the other modules inside PhotoRAW, there needs to be multiple photos selected. So for example, if I want to go into this HDR module here, I need to have all of my auto exposure brackets selected, and then this will be available for me to click it. So let's talk about one last thing, and that's how to access your presets inside of Browse. So if we have this photo here, and we go into detail view mode, and we want to apply a quick style onto it, we can do that using a preset. So let's head over and we can access our presets here. Presets will apply a pre-made style onto your photograph. But don't worry, everything in PhotoRAW is all non-destructive and re-editable at any time. So you can always go back into your edit module and readjust any of these settings. And with On1 PhotoRAW 2020, we've created all new presets and preset categories. And you can also see a thumbnail preview of what that category looks like on your shots. One of my favorites in here is this color grading preset category. And I really like this CG1. So now it's added a quick style onto my photograph. And I can even modify the amount by pulling back on this fade slider to add in less or more of this look. So now if we want to export this photo, there's a few different ways we could do that. If you want to have a lot of controls on your export options, head down to this export drawer right here. And now you have a lot of different controls that you can choose on how you want to export that image. Or if you just want to quickly export the photo into a folder, head up to your top bar again, and in File, you can choose Quick Export. If you're ever stuck and not sure where to go, head up to the top bar again, and in this Help menu, there's video tutorials, knowledge base articles, and all of our user guides.